Actually, since I'm sick, I'll be wholesome for a minute. I was in bed last night, not jerking off. No, no, not you, no, not, no, you, no. Usually I would make a story weird. I'm not saying usually I would do that. I actually, though, while we're talking about that, I actually watched a hentai last night for research purposes because I was on TikTok and there was this girl and she was like, drop me your favorite hentai recommendations below. And there was this one that kept coming up. So I was curious and I went and looked at it. Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> Literally don't know what I was talking about though. I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yes! So I was in bed last night and I was saying, um, I was in bed last night and I was like, I still can't believe when I hit, when I hit 1000 subs, I lost my mind. I was like, that is possibly the biggest goal I will ever achieve. There's nothing above it. That is insane. And then I hit 2000. And I remember when I hit 2000, I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. But I'm going to go below 2000 instantly, you know, because a lot of them were like gifted subs. But I'm never... I'm never getting ill again. I'm too nice to you guys when I'm ill. I'm such a baby. I feel so sick that I feel like I'm dying. So I'm like, I have to say my last final words. They have to be nice or else I'm fucking going to hell. Even the gaming community has grown. Like even if you go on games now, if someone were to say a horrible slur, people on your team will call them out and be like, hey, dude, that's not fucking cool. Which to me is fucking growth for the gaming community. I bet you don't got many gold guns as I have, you fucking Yeah, actually I do, you how many you have, damn boy? I got all my fucking stuff machine guns and assault rifle and my right shield. Get the fuck out of me, kid. Oh, but your sniper rifle. Because in the past, people would just either laugh or ignore it. So I think it's cool that even that whole that whole area grew too. You know, it's nice. Um, well, mother more for two lobbies, fucking Black Ops two lobbies. It was mad. Uh, gaming, yeah, the gaming, I know people still shit on it and say they're toxic or even how, you know, they're like, oh, they're, they're against females or against this and yeah, still a lot of people are, but I've learned still from Xbox days on Call of Duty when people would be like, shut up whore, fuck off bitch. Now, if someone said that, people on my team would be like, hey, why the fuck are you saying that? And that's why it's really upsetting to me that, you know, Jenna Marbles got cancelled for something she did so fucking long ago. Because realistically, back then, social standards were different. You know, people wouldn't call you out. People wouldn't a whole, it's, it's different now. And I feel like people really can grow and learn from it. And it's just upsetting who I want to be, or I can be loud and annoying. So yeah. it was like, I never wanted to be found out. And then- What part of Scotland are you from? No, no, punching, you're ill. Fuck you, cunt. And it's Christmas day and we're all eating our food. And my cousin, he's like, he's 15, he's sitting across the table and he just looks up at me and he goes, so, and I'm like, what? And he's like, Raj Patel, huh? And I froze because I was like, from that, he can find my Twitter. And as you know, my Twitter is a bit fucking weird. I just post some weird shit there. He can find everything. He could tell my family, well, no, my family knew, but he could tell like his friends, my friends, because like Ireland is a small place. And I remember this was the first time I was recognized and I, and it was by my cousin. And I'm just like, obviously none of the adults understood. And I just looked at him and I'm like, huh? What? And then he just continued eating. I remember the little fucking shithead just kept on eating. And then he went into the side room after it. And like my other cousins and my sister followed. And I remember sitting at the table because I was like, I, I joined late and I was just eating like, oh my God, oh my God, this is the end. I'm quitting Twitch. I'm done. I'm dropping the act. I'm out of here. And then I just went in and I was like, what the fuck do you mean Raj Patel? And he was like, yeah. So Call Me Carson's video got recommended to me. Saw you on it, and then from there, I went on a little exploration. I was like, dude, what the fuck? I got an email to my business email today from OnlyFans asking me to sign up with them, which was kind of like, ooh, but it was like actually from their email. They were like, hey, wanna make, and it was like, I, I, I was like, it was in the morning and I was like really tired. I was like, yeah, I was like that's kind of like, <laughs> you're asking me, you're, you are asking me? <laughs>
Fuck, I'm muted. Okay. I was just ranting about how I shot my shot. And my shot was missed. And ricocheted and hit me in the heart and the head. So, no. And no, I know who immediately you guys are going to think of. But it's not. I'm not muted. I can see my... Am I? Did you guys know that if you have Amazon Prime... You can oh my god! Oh! oh you like fucking dumb one. I see my mic. I'm sweating. I told you. Wait, do I have sweat stains yet? It's forming. Put a finger down if you've ever cried yourself to sleep. Put a finger down if you hug a pillow at night. Put a finger down if you have ever. I'm not fucking doing this. This is not fun. Innocent friendship. If you've never drank alcohol. Put a finger down if you've never done drugs. Put a finger down if you've never had a boyfriend. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've never snuck out. Put a finger down if you've never failed a class. Put a finger down Wait, she's if you don't too fast. Put a finger down if you're waiting till marriage. Put a finger down if you've never stolen from a store. I'm not obligated to say. Put a finger down if you've never been to a high school party. Put a finger down if you've never hit a jewel. Wait. Put a finger down if if you've never had a detention put a finger down if you've never caused a wreck and put a finger down if you've never been in a i fight. think she's confusing me i don't know why she's doing never usually it's like usually it's like put a finger down if why is that finger always so wonky dude relationship edition no <laughs> I, I can't play any of these they're all Put okay. a finger down, broken hearts edition. No, down, this is stupid. Fine, I'll do it. Put a finger down, broken hearts edition. Put a finger down if you've ever been in love. I was, I, I don't know if it's love. I was infatuated with someone. It was in my VR chat days. Yes, I really fell for a VR chat boy. How embarrassing. And he picked another girl. But that wasn't love. Because of what we didn't even date. We were just in the talking stage for like three months. Down if you've ever had your heart broken. Put yes, I know. Yikes! A your check guy. Put a finger down if someone's ever broken up with you. Fuck off! I can't play this. Put a finger down if you've ever seen a cop and acted extra. Innocent. Oh, a cop. And lastly. <gasps> oh, psycho killer. Kiss, kiss, say. Wait, 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 wait. Please help me. No, I can't do what I'm trying to do. Wait, what's that head move? Okay, okay. Wait, I got this. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't have coordination skills. Please help me. I can't do it. I can't even throw him. Oh, this guy's hot. Oh my god, the guy on the right is so fucking hot. Why are you saying no? He's the hottest of them. Him. Okay. Um. I'm good. We're good. Oh. E. I just hit fifty-seven thousand subscribers. Like on the dot.